Hello everyone, welcome to Mats at Home and tonight I'm gonna cook roast chicken and pasta. Bring the pasta to a boil and then drain it in running cold water. Keep the cold water running for about two minutes to avoid for the pasta to stick together after we rinse it and then set it aside. The next thing that we're gonna do is to make a roux. It's a combination of a butter and a flour of your choice, whether wool wheat or or plain flour, it's okay. A roux is a thickener that is added to the pasta itself and the sauce. And then we can add up the flour and gradually keep stirring until we reach the right consistency on it. So if, if the roux is wet, you can add a little bit more flour on it but don't overdo the flour because too much thickener is not good also for the pasta and then when it's done set it aside And the next thing is I add in butter and olive oil. The reason why I add butter and olive oil together is that we don't want a burnt garlic afterwards and a burnt butter. So haluin lang natin ng konte and then when it turns brown, we can add the bacon. The one that I use is the turkey bacon, less fat, more lean. And then, we will mix it again. So it's about time to add our roux, R-O-U-X. Or the combination of the flour and the butter. And also gradually add the cream of your choice and let it thicken over time. By this time, you can add the seasoning, ground pepper, and salt, and mix it well. I actually add two egg yolk at the very end. So stir lang natin siya because if we don't stir it, magbubuo yung yolk ng egg. I added one tablespoon of chopped parsley. It's because it can balance the, the taste and also it's really good for our body. Now we can go to the fun part. Adding the pasta into the sauce itself. Actually, I cook a lot of pasta today. Because any leftover in the evening can be eaten in the morning. Especially those who are rushing, going to work or even to school. So, haluin lang natin ng haluin and then it will be ready. So 
So you always have to taste your food before plating it. At ito na, ready na for plating. At ipinare ko ito for a roasted chicken. I roasted chicken today. Sorry, I didn't film it while I'm cooking it. But then next time, I'm gonna film it step by step. I guarantee the chicken is good. It's crunchy in the outside and juicy in the inside. Thank you for watching everyone.